A little earlier, Riel and Darcy and I had the pleasure of meeting inspiring students who are learning about robotics, virtual care, technology, and so many other innovative things that are making them the leaders of today and tomorrow uh, for right here uh, in their community, but also to impact communities across the country. SIIT is a First Nations governed educational institution that gives people the tools they need to succeed in an environment where they feel supported. This is what Budget 24 is all about, making sure everyone has what they need to succeed. We're investing in housing, technology, health care, child care, small businesses, and school food. Notre budget cette année, c'est un plan pour donner une chance équitable à tout le monde, y compris les peuples autochtones, à réussir. Aujourd'hui, on est ici pour souligner nos mesures qui vont soutenir les communautés des Premières Nations, des Métis et des Inuits partout au pays, des mesures pour les soins de santé, l'éducation, le logement et des opportunités économiques. So of all those, let's start with health care. Everyone in this country deserves to have equitable, safe and culturally appropriate health care. We know that remote communities face even greater challenges when it comes to accessing care. So we need to do more to fix this. This is why we will build and renovate more health centers on reserve with an investment of over $390 million. This funding will also improve the safety of primary care workers in remote and isolated First Nations communities. Riel, we're excited to be here today announcing funding to support the Virtual Health Hub led by SIIT with an investment of $21 million. The health gap that exists between Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples is unacceptable and will be there to support initiatives that will close it, like the Virtual Health Hub that will be deployed at Whitecap Dakota First Nation. Of course, what we're announcing today is on top of the other investments we're making in healthcare across the country, including with a strong focus on mental health supports. A big part of our work to close gaps in healthcare and in other areas is education. We will increase access to post-secondary education with an investment of nearly $243 million. Since 2016, there's been close to a 50% increase of Indigenous peoples who have a post-secondary degree. For First Nations, that number is now over 60%. That means that more people are now employed in their communities, providing crucial services at home and in cities throughout the country. Le soutien qu'on apporte à la prochaine génération d'étudiants autochtones pour les études universitaires, collégiales ou postsecondaires va contribuer à un avenir plus prometteur, pas seulement pour les peuples autochtones, mais pour tous. For everyone to succeed, we need more housing as well, right across the country, including and especially in Indigenous communities. So to support the building of homes and infrastructure in First Nations, Inuit and Métis communities, we'll invest over a billion dollars and that's on top of the $5 billion for housing and infrastructure that will go directly to your communities this year. On va aider à construire des logements, mais aussi les infrastructures dont les communautés ont besoin. Par exemple, ça prend des usines de traitement des eaux et des routes fiables vers les communautés éloignées pour pouvoir bâtir plus de logements. Et c'est exactement ce qu'on va aider à construire. And finally, I want to talk about what we're doing to create jobs and prosperity. Indigenous peoples have always been innovators, from trading and trapping to establishing local, regional or national organizations to bring in further investments to their communities. Indigenous nations need to be able to share in the benefits of natural resource and energy projects in their territories and on their own terms. We know, unfortunately, there are fewer options for securing capital, leading to increased borrowing rates that create a barrier to equity investment. Well, we're going to change that with the new Indigenous Loan Guarantee Program. This program will offer up to $5 billion in loan guarantees to make sure Indigenous communities can share in the benefits of natural resource and energy projects in their territories. Le programme de garantie de prêt pour les Autochtones va appuyer sur leurs priorités et créer de nouvelles opportunités économiques. C'est un programme qui va aider à réduire le nombre de personnes qui vivent dans des ménages à faible revenu, 
des résultats qui vont s'ajouter aux améliorations qu'on voit depuis 2015. Et en plus de ça, on va investir 388 millions de dollars pour soutenir les entrepreneurs autochtones et le tourisme et pour créer des opportunités dans le domaine de l'énergie propre. Des bons emplois et une chance équitable de réussir pour tout le monde, c'est ça notre plan. Everyone deserves a fair chance to succeed. And when Indigenous peoples succeed, it means that Canada succeeds.